Hello, my twin flame soulmate. What's up? It's Ashley from Serendipity Twin Flames Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm coming to you with your energy update, your reading. For those that are on a twin flame journey or separated from their soulmate, this certainly can resonate for you. If it does, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also know that I do. Um, I also do general love readings for all the Zodiacs on my main YouTube channel called Serendipity Tarot. Check it out. Um, or maybe you were led to this channel from my main channel. Um, thank you for your support. And if you want a personal love reading, the link is in the description box. Vimeo has your bonus reading. Um, dig deeper into your person's energy. See what's going on in their energy, on their mind. How do they view you? What's going on in their feelings, emotions? What are they not saying and revealing to you and how they would like to move forward? Check them out. And also, we'll look at what's going on behind the scenes, influencing this connection, okay? So let's start out with some oracle this is from the soulmates and separation the epiphany this is on my etsy shop for those of you guys who are interested in getting a copy all right what's up what's up for those that are dealing with their twin flame what's happening in this connection what do we need to know any more messages please okay any messages here mastering a karmic lesson okay so someone is um, paying off some karmic debt here okay so you guys some of you guys are twin flames and karmics okay or some of you guys they are dealing with a karmic okay and there's a lesson to be learned right this is someone who may be doing some shadow work right now they may be going through some challenges in their life because there's a lesson they have to learn right you guys um you're dealing with someone who it's not until perhaps a separation that there's something that there's like a light being shined on them, okay? Or they're being forced to now um, address something that they've been avoiding for some time, okay? So we're gonna we're gonna look into that a little bit more, okay? <laughs> we're gonna see what that karmic karma, okay, or karmic person, see what that's all about, okay? Any messages here? Any messages? Ready to release the love block. Okay, so your person could have had a legit love block, right? They could have been blocked from love. Or um, I'm feeling like this, this is someone who may have ran away from love because they weren't ready to love you, okay? So there could have been, again, some, some karmic debt, right? The karmic debt could have been related to love, right? Um, but this is ultimately someone who wasn't able to really offer you love or give and receive it because there was some kind of love block okay so through this lesson your person may be releasing a love block here okay any other messages okay we have hidden desires and hidden intentions so i feel like what this person um really wanted was not really um communicate it to you okay some of you guys you felt like you didn't know what this person really wanted their intentions were very unclear to you you could have been dealing with this person for a while and you just you didn't know what the hell they wanted you, you were very unclear some of you guys you know you perhaps weren't committed but you were in that in between phase and you were just like what the hell are we you know so <laughs> their intentions for you were hidden and something ultimately died right we got the dead rose here something he wasn't nurtured properly and so it ended up dying right it wasn't watered. It wasn't um, planted in the right soil. It may have not been the right time, right? Okay. We also have, you are my lifeline. I can't lose you. So this is perhaps how your twin is feeling about you, right? You have saved this person. This person may have put you through hell and back, right? But at the same time, like they value the connection. They value you. Well, there's someone, something about you that you have saved them, okay? You help them to see. You help them to do better. Um, I feel like this is someone who wouldn't tell you this, right? They're hidden intentions, hidden hidden desires but they really can't lose you this is someone who still feels very much strongly energetically connected to you um you are their lifeline right twin flames um you are their lifeline all right <laughs> let's see let's see any messages here for my twin flames twin flames mastering a karmic lesson so your person is going through some kind of lesson it's a lesson to be learned here right they may have um treated you poorly they may have mistreated you they could have been a love block maybe they weren't ready to love and when you're not ready to love you can hurt people who love you very dearly right so let's see there's a lesson to be taught let's see what this is that about oh i saw the death coming out in reverse so 
Some of you guys, it is a Scorpio, okay? But this is the energy. This is a transformation. This is big, big change that your person's going through, right? They're being forced to change. They can't stay stagnant with this energy, right? So this is the universe stepping in. The major arcana, this is a rebirth, okay? Um, I feel like your souls are definitely still intertwined. But I feel like your person is, they're being challenge to change their ways to change the way of doing things their way their perspective their outlook on life okay let's see what that death card is about i'm getting a rebirth soul's awakening the seven of cups so you know your person may have brought a lot of confusion into the situation the connection here perhaps they didn't they didn't know what they wanted they treated you like another option they were very unclear about their intentions for you they could have been dealing with many people at one time so the seven of cups is, talks about this person's confusion about love and relationships in general right this is someone who may have been delusioned or very unclear because they didn't know what they wanted right this person also could have been um i'm getting temptation i'm getting they may have saw like a shiny uh shiny penny like someone who just you know maybe just had a very very physically very attractive and they could have been um led astray okay so i'm getting some karmic there all right let's see any other messages it could be a cancer a pisces a scorpio as well with the death card what else do we need to know yeah the three of wands your person got involved with someone or they were led astray i feel like there was some kind of karmic or some kind of third party energy that they got caught up with okay and their head wasn't on straight right this is someone who may have been looking at materialistic things or physical qualities instead of what really mattered right the love that you gave them and the three of wands this is someone who you perhaps have been waiting for for a very long time to change their ways to do right by you okay any other messages Ooh. The card wanted to come out, seven of wands. So I'm getting some guarded energy. I feel like your person could have definitely had their guards up towards you in love, right? You may have certainly expressed to this person how much you cared for them, like you'd be willing to make a sacrifice, you'd be willing to wait for them, or you just put your feelings out there. But unfortunately, this person couldn't receive it because they blocked you out, right? With that love block, okay, and that seven of wands, this is blocking. This is like not letting... um not letting anyone penetrate that layer not let anyone this person didn't want you to really know what was going on they didn't want to share themselves they didn't want to um let you in right to feel what they felt they didn't they didn't share they didn't really open up their heart to you so this is someone who again releasing ready to release a love block right this lesson may be teaching them how to <laughs> what am i doing this lesson may be teaching them how to release this love block right because there's some guarded energy there's some defensiveness here this person could have definitely said some mean things in the moment because of that love block okay we got the eight of wands yeah so I feel like, you know, this person definitely wants to communicate with you or there's definitely a need for them to reach out. They want to say something. Let's see what that's all about. Let's get another card here. Oh, the judgment in reverse. So your person wants to make a decision here. The judgment, if there was a final decision, if your person said, you know what, I don't want to commit to you or, you know, maybe they made a decision to be with someone else, whatever that decision was, they know that this was not a good decision. They know that that got in the way of them being able to move forward here with you. So that's something that they're facing here, okay, with this lesson, this karmic lesson that they're being taught now, right? Because the judgment in verse is telling me they've made bad decisions, poor decisions, right? Maybe more than one poor decision. But I see that your person is acknowledging that and they do do want to communicate they want something to move forward the eight of wands is about progression change right um and your person i feel in the past has been um getting in the way of change they were not open to change they were not open to looking at things through different perspectives so that has kept them stuck but now with this death card they're being forced to change they're being forced to transform okay now, hidden desires and hidden intentions. What's this about, please? For my twin flames out there. Okay, the queen of pentacles. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, your person did not be clear to you on, you know, something regarding a commitment, okay? Your person certainly could have looked at you as being very stable, very secure, very abundant. You were grounded. You were wholesome. Everything that this person was not, right? Unfortunately, your person, they may have certainly been intimidated by you, right? With the queen of pentacles, you had it all. You were financially in a good place. They weren't, okay? They had nothing to offer you, especially if you're dealing with the divine masculine energies. They may have felt inadequate. They may have felt not good enough. They may have felt like, what can I provide to my empress to my 
my divine feminine, right? But I also feel like your person looked at you as someone that they really could commit to, right? They can actually have a loving, fulfilling, comfortable life with marriage, home, commitment, children. They actually looked at you as wifey, as husband material, whatever it is, okay? Take it how it resonates. So they do... <laughs> they do look at you as someone who's a stable um person in their life right you are a lifeline to them okay they definitely look at you in terms of like you know you're very stable you you ground them you are their support system okay emotionally financially whatever it may be you guys may have certainly been very very good friends before becoming lovers as well um let's get another card here Hidden desires and hidden intentions. They didn't tell you how much you meant to them. They didn't tell you that you were valuable. That queen of pentacles, she's a value. She's an investment. She's someone worth investing in, right? Wow. Two of pentacles came out. So this is someone who's been um, wishy-washy, right? In and out of your life. This person has been very um, unsure, indecisive of what they really wanted. Um, but also juggling, right? And the four of swords and the nine of swords. So stress, four of swords, nine of swords, a lot of swords here, mental energy. What I feel like your person is definitely eating themselves away, okay? They're constantly spending a lot of time overthinking, um, very stressed to the point where they can't eat, they can't sleep. They're over. They're overthinking to the point where they're really causing a lot of stress to themselves, okay? They're in this really, I'm getting like panic, I'm getting just anxiety. But also the four of swords is also fears and anxieties, but not speaking about it. So your person is definitely panicking now. I do feel like they're they're going through a very difficult time in their life, right? They're, they're going through a, a karmic, <laughs> a lesson. There's a lesson here that they're learning, right? And unfortunately, you know, going through this lesson or being taught this lesson doesn't come easy. Because the more change that this person has to go through, or the more change that's needed, the longer it's going to take, right? So your person is right now... I'm getting like they're like they're in this like little fetal position they're spending a lot of time alone they're not talking they're not maybe reaching out to some of their friends or people whatnot or maybe they're acting like they're just fine and dandy right but really deep down they're not um so there's a lot of stress here there's a lot of overthinking there is definitely still them connected to to um uh you know you in a way that the heart is here so they do think about you still um they are still they're also going through some hurt as well okay maybe not at the, the effect or the, the level that you are going through, okay, but they are going through some pain here, um, the heart chakra, the nine of swords, just very much, um, a very painful, a difficult time in their life right now, okay, and it's because of their poor decisions, right, and uh, the two pentacles, wishy-washiness or bad decisions, right, okay, let's see, you are my lifeline, I can't lose you, what's this about, you are my lifeline. I can't lose you. So this is what this person's thinking or saying, um, but they wouldn't tell you that. Yeah, the Hierophant in reverse. So this, again, this is someone who, um, they wanted to keep you in their life, but they couldn't commit, right? They had an issue with commitment. They weren't able to, to really take that next step here with you. But at the same time, they knew that they can have a life with you. They can have a very fulfilling, loving, beautiful, comfortable life. Let's get another card here. We have the King of Wands. See, this is someone who wants to take action towards you. They still desire you. There's still a lot of chemistry here. I feel like I'm getting... This is someone who still is very much attracted to you, still wants you in a way, but there could be some confidence issues, right? We got the strength, the lion here um, that talks about strength. It talks about... Um, ego, pride, that's again a reoccurring thing in twin flame connections, right? Certainly with the divine masculine energies, um, the king of wands could be having some pride, ego issues that's getting in the way of them being able to move forward here right now, um, but also strength of mind. Maybe they feel like they're not strong enough, right? They're crumbling right now, um, going through this lesson right now. There's some dark heavy energy here right now that they're dealing with okay so the king of wands this is someone who wants to take action towards you but they couldn't they couldn't seem to offer you the commitment that you were looking for but at the same time they know that they can't lose you they know that you mean so much to them and it's like <laughs> you're, you're not a dime a dozen right they can't get you anywhere else let's get one more card here and then i'm going to clarify a little bit and then if you guys want to go into the extended you can so it's like while they want to take action towards you this is someone who's not right because the knight of swords reverse they're not saying a thing they're being very um standoffish they're not communicating they may have cut ties with communication they may have blocked you so this is someone who's afraid to speak up they're afraid to tell you how they feel they're they want to take action they desire it very much but they can't seem to um you know put the pedal to the metal right they can't seem to speak up they can't seem to tell you what's really going on so that's what i'm seeing here 
um, for my twin flames. I'm going to get some additional messages. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. Let's get my right away. All right, my twin flames. Any last messages here? And then y'all can head over to the extended and see what's going on with this person on their mind, their feelings, all that jazz, okay? All right, let's see. Any other messages here? The death card with the three of wands. And, you know, I feel like this is definitely, again, transformation in your person's energy. They're being forced to change their ways. They're being forced to look at things a little bit more deeper, not just, um, again, like, you know, if they're physical, if they were just choosing people for the wrong reasons or they weren't really interested in really getting to know who a person was on, like, the deep level, right? They're being forced to change their ways. Um, let's see. Any messages here? Okay, the Knight of Swords. See, this is them having to stand in their truth, right? Having to move forward and be honest with themselves. The Knight of Swords is honest, it's truthful, it's communication, okay? So um, let's see, any other messages? Oh my gosh, the tower came out. How fitting, right? The tower, this is a, a big, big aha moment, epiphany, enlightenment. So certain your person is going through some karma, for real. There's definitely some karmic depth. There's, some, there's definitely some transformation here. Big, big change in your person. And it's not too pretty. It's It, 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 it could be quite ugly, matter of fact, okay? But of course, your person wouldn't tell you all that. But there's definitely, this tower is a wake-up call. It's forcing your person to come to terms with their um, these blocks or their, their um, inadequacy or their fears okay so that's what we're singing ready to release this love block what are the messages do we have here the hermit virgo energy see your person is now going within it doesn't mean that they're spiritual but it could just mean that now they're doing a lot of heavy heavy think reflecting um thinking about their ways thinking about the past what do they need to do um what are their options right how to go about moving forward here the judgment in the verse they know they've made poor decisions but what can they do now can they fix it you know do they live in uh, in regret you know that kind of thing see the queen of cups in reverse, this is typically the divine feminine and twin flame journeys where there's like the one person, the divine, usually the divine feminine who's very, very loving, giving, um, open, vulnerable, nurturing, right? And this person is now realizing, wow, I hurt my counterpart. I, I treated him or her very unfairly, right? I really did some serious damage. So your person is realizing that, right? They made some poor decisions that has hurt their their twin, that has hurt their um their person who loved them the most. And I always say that because it always comes out. Now, the Queen of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, Nine of Swords, hidden desires, hidden intentions. What is this about? Please, if it resonates, like, share, comment, and subscribe. The Three of Cups are reversed. So this person may have ha may have kept very shallow relationships around. They could have kept people around them for fun, okay, for drinks, for laughs, for food. But when it came to actually having a real relationship, a real connection here with you, they avoided you. They were afraid. They, they feared um, falling in love. They feared being vulnerable, right? So the three cups in verse, your person may have kept like just relationships that didn't really mean anything, but were fun, right? And so I feel like your person is now going, now looking at that very deeply. But again, they saw you as someone with the queen of pentacles. They saw stability with you. You weren't like these other people, these other superficial relationships that they kept, right? But they still was very conflicted, the two of pentacles. They still were juggling between you and these other worthless people, right? And so the queen of pentacles is speaking about, again, how they looked at you, right? They, they looked at you as very, like, you were well taken care of. You were educated. You were driven. You were ambitious. You had everything, all the qualities that they wanted right um however they still didn't they didn't show you that they didn't tell you hidden desires hidden intentions they would not tell you that and unfortunately they still kept you as an option they still were juggling they still were very unclear on what they wanted all right last but not least we got the three of pentacles so, so again that speaks about third party that speaks about them um even though they saw value in this connection right you guys had so much chemistry it's like you guys were actually like you understood each other when it came to like your values your beliefs you guys are on the same page but even that scared them right the love that they had for you scared them right because they had a love block they feared that they've run away from it but even the chemistry between you guys scared the hell out of them right you guys like maybe the same foods or you like to you know do things um your upbringing was the same 
So that's what I'm seeing. There was definitely chemistry. We got the King of Wands. It was passion, desire. Um, you are my lifeline. I can't lose you. What's this about? You are my lifeline to a, yeah, see, this person doesn't want you to go away. They don't want you to leave them, right? The two of wands, they know they have to pick a direction, okay? But they don't want you to, um, they don't want to miss out on you. So this is someone who right now, they can't tell you that, right? Knight of Swords in reverse, they can't, there's all lies coming out of their mouth or perhaps there's no communication at all. But I do feel like this is someone who doesn't want to move on without you, okay? They don't want to leave you. They don't want to go through life without you okay let's get one more card and then i'm going to close this up okay the high priestess in reverse this is something you know your person has been very secretive they've been very mysterious they've been keeping things from you um but there's something that's going to come out okay and some of you guys are very intuitive you already know what happened you already know how this person feels about you you don't need this person to tell you some of you guys you find out through tarot right but there's something that's going to be coming out in the open the veil is coming off okay so check out your extended reading you'll certainly look at your person's energy a little bit more if you want to look at a little bit what what this high priestess energy is about right what's really going on with your person feelings emotions hidden intentions that kind of thing um what were the blocks the challenges all that check it out i definitely go into depth hopefully you find that very useful and um you guys all take care stay safe and stay well